factorization the topic which we're going to discuss for today's session so factorization is the process of finding factors say for example if you just come with a recap of all the problems or the numbers which you have done in the past say i take the value 12 the value the number 12 can be expressed as factors as we all know that we just find the factors with the process of lcm where i take the least prime and then find the factors in step by step process 2 6 2 3s and 3 1s so this is how i find the factors so i find the factors of 2 to be 2 times 2 times 3 so the factors of 12 are 2 2 and 3 so same way if i wanted to find the factors of say 15 i just write this as 3 times 5 and the factors of 15 are 3 and 5 so similarly even the algebraic expressions are also said to have factors which we find in the similar manner so let's see with how the factorization is possible for algebraic expressions so for example i take the algebraic expression p square q r square now with this example let's see how we can factorize this algebraic expression now when i take p square q r square i can write this as the product of p taken twice times q times r square written twice in the product where p square is obtained from here as p into p and r square here is written as r into r so these are said to be the factors of the algebraic expression p square q r square so same way you can take any number of problems where you want to find the factors 3x square y then this would be written as 3 times x multiplied twice times y so these are said to be the factors of the given algebraic expression 3x square y now if i have say another problem in the form can i express this into the products by taking anything common you cannot express this as a factor but on the whole when i cannot have anything common in between i directly write this algebraic expression as this multiplied with one so this one is the only factor for these kind of algebraic expressions so that is how we understand the factorization of various algebraic expressions now let's see one of the method through which we can find the factors which is called method of common factors method of taking common terms now here we'll see the method of common factors and how this method is used to find the factors of algebraic expressions <coughs> suppose i have an algebraic expression 3pq plus 6q so i take all the common factors between the first term and the second term let's see how we can do that now with this example we'll see how we can use the method of common factors for this particular algebraic expression it has two terms so the given problem is 3pq plus 6q now i see what are the common factors between the first and the second terms here that is how the method of common factors is developed now say for example i have the first term as 3pq i can write this as 3 times p times q and the possible factors of 6q would be 2 times 3 times q i express all the terms of each all of the all the factors of each of the terms to be in a more simplified form say i have 6 i write it as the least primes 2 into 3 and then the remaining q is written here now after splitting them into the most possible factors i take all the common terms outside the bracket now firstly i identify that 3 is common in both the terms so this is one term which comes out of the bracket then secondly i find that q is also the common factor between the first and second terms so these two terms which are common in both the terms come out of the bracket and the rest of the terms are written inside the bracket this is how the method of common factors is used in finding the factors or factorizing the given algebraic expression so in this case 3 being the common term 
and q being the common term comes out of the bracket and the only thing remaining after 3 and q come out is p in the first term and then when 3 and q are out in the second term the only thing which remains is 2 so 2 is written out here so overall i get that the factors of the given problem 3pq plus 6q would be 3 times q times p plus 2. So this is how we find the most possible common factors for the given algebraic expression. Let's see one more problem to understand this more better. So for example, I have r square mn square minus m square r cube n. Now this is having totally three unknowns r, m and n and there are totally two terms. The first term being r square m n square and the second term being negative m square r cube n. Now let's see how we can find the common factors for these two terms taken. So my first rule says that <coughs> I'm going to split this into the most common factors. Now let's take another example say r square m n square minus m square r cube n. So this also has two terms where I need to take the common terms from both of these two and then I get the factorization process done successfully. <coughs> so for this what I'll do is I split each of the term in the most possible form of expressing each of the terms as product of factors. So when I take the first term I can express this r square as r times of r and then the next term out here is m and then I can express n square as n times of n minus. In the similar manner, I also try to express the second term in the most possible factors which I can express for that. So when I take this, I can write this as m times of m times r cube is product of r three times. So I get r times r times r with one n remaining out there. So once I express these two terms in the most possible factors, I try to take all the common terms between the first and the second term, say in this manner. I have r on both sides of the terms. So this is a common factor which comes out of the bracket. So there's one more r which also is common. So this also comes out. There's no more r, so I don't have any common r for this in the second term to be there in the first term. So this cannot have a common term. So let's jump to the third term, which is m. So this has a common factor in the second term. Similarly, I take n. So I have n which has a common factor, but this n does not have a common factor in the second term because there's no n at all in the second term. So whatever I have circled will be the terms which come out of the bracket and whatever which are not circled will be the terms which will be inside the bracket. So I have the circled R coming out, one more circled R coming out, circled M coming out and circled N coming out with the remaining terms coming inside the bracket. Now once I circle them, what is the remaining term out here? It is N. So I write N here minus all the circled terms which are out, the remaining non-circled terms will come inside the bracket of which m is 1 and the next r is 1. So when I just multiply, when I re-simplify re this, I get r times of r as r square mn times of n minus mr. So this is how I get the factors for the given problem. The most possible factorization of the given problem is R square Mn times N minus Mr.